show, everybody. And now I'm delighted to welcome back on Hannah Richards. Welcome to the show, Hannah. Thank you, Chrissy. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Very well. We must look after our body, right? We must. At or all things costs. will start going wrong. I mean, the show topic today is about rejection, and of course, our health is going to start reacting if we don't Absolutely. do something about it. I think it's if we feel confident with ourselves, and we can do that by eating well and moving well, then mm -hmm. we're in a much better position, aren't we, to deal with rejection? Definitely. Okay. <laughs> so, what we're we making today it all looks very yummy. It does. So, we're going to have some fun today. We're going to make some. Uh, courgette, chicken courgette basically. Mm -hmm. So um, everyone's sort of doing these gluten-free pastas at the moment and actually it's just vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's nothing gluten-free about courgette, it is a courgette. And you don't really need to buy, go off and buy a big spiralizer. you can just take your julienne peeler mm -hmm. and peel away and you've suddenly got spaghetti. So we're going to start off um, by you can do this with um, you could do it with a carrot with carrots with sweet potatoes mm -hmm. and just make sure your peelers got all those little yeah, yeah. teeth in them mm -hmm. and then you naturally get spiralized. Hang on, did you say sweet potatoes as well? Sweet potatoes, yeah. You can eat those raw. You well, if you sort of give it a bit, yeah, if you, you do because then once the vegetable is quite thin like that then you can just put them in water and give okay. them a little bit of heat. Yeah, yeah. But with, with um, courgette, you don't need to do it at all. Yeah, yeah. It's naturally quite high, high in water, so um, okay. it will just lend itself to um, being nice and soft when you eat it. This, this actually looks like fresh pasta. It does, <laughs> doesn't, doesn't it? Doesn't it? The colour of it. And that's the great thing about seasonal vegetables as yeah. well. So normally we know our courgettes to be green, so I thought I'd bring a couple just to get a bit more colour in through the dish. Yeah. Um, and the, the, all the real goodness is on those outside of the skins. Mm. Um, and then you could do it with you could add a bit of carrot as well and you can yeah. get purple carrots. Do you remember when I brought those yeah, yellow carrots yeah, in? Yeah. And then you're just making the dish more vibrant, more colourful. And the more colourful the dish is, the more vitamins, mm -hmm. an array of vitamins it's going to have and therefore the healthier it's, it's about... The more colours you get on your dish is like taking a multivitamin. Yeah. So you don't need to take supplements if you have loads Always. of ingredients. So let's see. Just be careful not to grate your fingers. <laughs> Okie doke. There we go. Lovely jubbly. And then you can just sort of, you see how they sort of a little bit stick together, yeah. but courgettes are so high in water that you can, that they'll just break off from each other. Yeah. You see how beautiful colours that is. Now that's much more inviting than a bowl of white pasta. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some might not agree with me, I'm I sure. I white spaghetti, you have to say. I know, with a bit but of this, pesto. This yeah. Oof. Oh, this is good. I, I do love my veggies. There we go. So, we're going to leave that to the side for a little bit. I'll take that. You take that, yeah. I'll bring that later. Bring that. <laughs> Here's one I've made earlier. Um, and then here we've just got some chicken. These are chicken thighs. You could use chicken breasts. Um, and these are, these are obviously pre-cooked, so all I'm going to do is just cut them into um, slices and that's going to weave its way through the courgette when we mix it all together. So you can sort of be quite rough and ready with these chickens. Um, it doesn't really matter how you cut them. You just need to be in sort of small bite-sized bits so that they're um, not too cumbersome in the dish. There we go, take that one, thank you. Just making some space for you. My excellent sous chef. <laughs> Um, what's your favourite, Chrissy? Chicken thigh or chicken breast? Definitely the thigh. I think yeah. There's a lot more flavour. Yeah. And it's a lot more moist, isn't it? Yeah, it is absolutely. Yeah. And with the red, with the the darker meats of the chicken, there's more protein. There's something called purine. And oh. if it's darker, then there's more purine in that protein, okay. which means the protein content is higher. So your organ so meats, for example, have the highest levels of protein in them. And then fishes. All your white fish and chicken have the have a lower amount of protein. Ooh, All still good for you, but yeah, that's interesting. Some of them say, "Oh, eat the it's better to eat the breast because there's less fat and stuff." But then absolutely you lose something then, else. Then you lose something else. Yeah. Then is it organic? Where's <laughs> it from? What? How has it been looked after? Oh God, oh, God it goes on, doesn't it? 
I know, we're in food wars at the moment. Tell me about it. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very cool. much. So we'll just cut your chicken away like that. And it's you can know you can even take take your hands to it and just and break it up depending how you like. Right. And then right. bring the courgette back. That's great. That looks so lovely that is. Doesn't it? And so all I'm gonna do is just add and take it through and then add some more chicken and take it through. It's a great way to uh, use up your leftover chicken. Absolutely. Well, it? Like the chi a, a roast chicken should should keep you going, a family going for a few days mm. at least. You take all the chicken off it for Sunday roast, yeah. then you make the rest of the chicken into sandwiches for the kids yeah. the next day. Exactly. And then you boil the bones and make chicken stock or chicken broth, bone broth. Yeah. Bone broth. Mm -hmm. And you know, you've got your most out of a six pound exactly. chicken. Exactly. Brilliant. There we go. Okay. So, then all I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to add some nut butter. Mm. So it sort of gives it a little bit of sweetness to it. Um, and actually what you can do, even if you're not doing this dish, just, um, you know when you go to a restaurant, you get chicken skewers with maybe some nut butter. This is, this is basically what it, that's all it is. Satay chicken. Satay chicken. Mm. But it gives this a nice sweetness. And um, you don't need, you don't want to put too much in it. I'm just okay. going to use that fork actually, because otherwise you just feel like you're eating nut butter, yeah, okay. and it can be a bit overwhelming. Yeah, but literally a, a teaspoon, and just move it around. Okay. So I'm going to leave you to do that. All right, my love. If that's okay. And I'm going to move on to making a little dressing. Okay. So all I'm going to use here is some coriander, which is a really nice herb. Um, make sure. It, Mm, make sure it's got a really good smell to it, nice and fresh. And just give it a rough chop like that. Just cut it through. My favourite herb that is. Is it? It's a really good age. Once you start cutting wet herbs, the flavour and the smell comes through yeah. immediately. Can you smell that? Mm -hmm. Ooh. And then I'm going to take a lime and I'm just going to use the juice of a lime for this dish here. So I'm just going to squeeze the lime in there. It's, it is much better for this dish definitely to use a lime. I wouldn't use a lemon. Sometimes lemons can be a bit sort of tart. Yeah. So do use a lime because it goes really well with coriander. There's a big dollop of nut butter here that I can't seem to separate. But I'm Come trying on, my best. Chrissy. I'm trying my best. Come on. Okay. Almost there. You can do it. Almost there. Brilliant. Okay, and then I'm just going to use some olive oil, good quality olive oil. Make sure it's in a glass bottle. I'm just going to add some in there. There we go. I'm going to use a pinch of sea salt. Make sure it's sea salt and not table salt. Yes. Pinch of black pepper, any type will do. Um, and then I'm going to use a little, little tiny bit. Have we got another spoon there? That'll do of uh, honey, and this is a really, really great honey that a friend of mine made. Um, and it's seasonal, and so it's got flavors of coriander in it already. Mm, brilliant. Now, a good way to taste it is just put your finger in it like that. And if you immediately go, yeah. then you need to add something else. <laughs> but that's, that's tasting fine. The last thing I'm just going to add is a tiny splash of balsamic. You could use oh, okay. cider apple mm -hmm. or any vinegar, but it just separates the oil and gives it a bit of sharpness to it as well. Lovely. Okie dokie. So, we're ready to go. Going to put our bowls here. And then we're going to put, put the dressing all the way over the top. Give it another little... You'd probably do this with your hands, wouldn't you? Yeah, We probably. can't do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a bit okay. of a toss around. Yep. Lovely. And then um, you can put a um, bit in each bowl. Yum. Lovely. And the other one. Perfect. Let's put a bit of chicken bit on top. Then. <laughs> and then all you do is put, your, put a bit of coriander on top. There we go. One, two. And in the cups on the side there, Chrissy, this is some hibiscus. 
It's a really nice, um, it's actually a Korean flower. Okay. It's really good to reduce blood pressure, good for the immune system. All herbal teas are great for everything. Yeah. So a little bit of hot water in those. And we're having tea as well with this. I knew you missed me bringing oh, tea in. Oh, amazing. There you go. You, still, you haven't finished it, you've still got to ask some questions. I'm going to have to That's give a couple fine. of extra minutes. Right, so two minutes just to answer. Courgette and, That's lovely, guys. and chicken with a hibiscus tea. I wish I had time to eat this now. But shall we answer the questions Let's very, ask the very questions quickly, and then very in. quickly, and then we can have this afterwards. Go for okay, it. so a couple of questions. Right, first one is, is being vegetarian or pescatarian really healthier? I want to cut down eating red meat, but I find fish a bit expensive. Well, um, I think the key is, is it healthier? I, mean, I think that's quite a big question. I think the key is, is making sure you've got a bit of balance. There's a bit of red meat, there's a bit of fish, there's a bit of vegetarian, there's mm. lots of vegetables, and making sure the majority of your food comes from, um, comes from vegetables. Okay. The, the, I know fish can be expensive, but if you bought a whole fish on the bone, just like the chicken on the bone, yeah. you can make it go uh, two, two or okay. three more meals. Yes, if you buy fillets of fish, it's expensive. So always buy it on the bone and make two or three meals out Brilliant. of it. Brilliant. And one last question. What things can I eat to boost my energy levels in the morning and afternoon? Uh, well, my favourite energy boosting for the morning is a freshly squeezed grapefruit juice. Okay. Just one grapefruit, maybe a pink grapefruit, add an orange and it boosts your adrenal glands, which are the glands that give you energy. Okay. So a grapefruit juice for me is the best thing. It'll do more, more good than a cup of coffee. Even for afternoon as well? Uh, yeah, afternoon, definitely. Yeah, okay. The only thing with grapefruit, just make sure, sometimes it has an indication with medications, so just okay. make sure that you can take grapefruit if you are taking a medication. Wonderful. Hannah, thank you so much. Pleasure. And I'll see you again next time. Hope so. And everybody, if you'd like more information about Hannah, all you need to do is visit our website, chrissybshow.tv, scroll down and you'll find her information there. Well, don't go away because after the break, we have our news correspondent, Helena Sharp.